Okay, so in the last video, I made this RC car. Uh, it was a nice car, but it had a problem. Uh, sorry, a lot of problems. First, it doesn't have an outer body, so the electronics can get damaged. And second, uh, it's not portable. It's really big and also you have to carry this big transmitter with it. Third, it has a LiPo battery, which sometimes can be harmful. Wow! Very dangerous! Uh, so today I want to make a car, which is first portable, second safe, third reliable, and fourth, it should have some lights and I want to add a horn. This time I want to use the ESP8266 to control the car so we don't have to carry the big remote with us all the time. And decided to use lithium ion cells. They are much reliable and kind of safe. We also need a BMS to make sure it doesn't explode. So after uh, ordering every single part I need, from Amazon, I decided I would use the Elgo 98M motor driver and the motors from my last RC car. So let's begin the montage. in the dark just to scare the ghosts away? I know there's something following me that I can't see. Someone sure laid an awful hex on me. A hex? Oh, Tex, that's pretty far fetched. Well, man, I think you're just a little bit tense. If you'd have got a load of what I saw last night, you'd have flashed the Yankee Clipper on its maiden flag. Last night I saw up on the stair a little man who wasn't there. He wasn't there again today. Oh, how I wish he'd go away. I came home last night at three. The man was waiting there for me. But when I looked around the hall, I couldn't see him there. Okay, I have done 80% of the work, the front lights are working and I am going to test it right now. Currently the voltage is 11.63 uh, volts and I am going to attach the back lights and the horn after this. Okay guys, it's time, uh, I'm going to test the RC car in this uh, sand pit thing 
uh, let's see how it does and that's where it hit me i realized there was nothing to do damn the more i try to uh, get it out of the sand it sinks in more and so it was stuck i didn't even have the feature from the maybach to help me out so i did the obvious thing I picked it up. So about 10 to 15 minutes of use the voltage hadn't dropped that much. After using the car that much I realized there was a problem the car wasn't going uh, straight it was uh, turning like left after I ran it a bit so after I got home I tried using the car again after I came home uh, I tried it and it seemed uh, it was just because I was putting the tires on and off uh, too much while carrying it around that's why it wasn't going straight okay now that that's done let's put the back light and the horn Okay guys I have installed everything on the RC car the horn the backlight and the front light are installed uh the components should be uh, labeled on the screen as you can see also it's currently night time so we are going to test it on the dark so let's go Okay, now let's connect the RC car uh, to our mobile via Wi-Fi. If you want me to make a separate video uh, about this app, uh, you can tell me in the comment section. I will definitely make another video about this. I would also recommend not using the RC car near too many devices or routers because that can cause uh, interference with the known MCU, and that could be very bad sometimes.
that's it for today guys if you found the video helpful please like share and subscribe